I just followed Elder Plinius on X, and this dude's insane. He already found some ways to jailbreak Grok 4, and that just came out. And uh, so what we started to do is classify a lot of these tricks that they you know, are using. And so if you look at these um, jailbreaks, you can see like, okay, well, they have what looks like here, like, you know, kind of like, um, you know, maybe an HTML or XML kind of tag here, but it says like end of input, start of input. They're adding a whole bunch of, uh, you know, characters here, dollar signs, percentage signs. We start to look at these and, and basically analyze why, that, why do these work in these jailbreaks. Now you can go on Pliny's GitHub right now and try out a few of these prompts yourself. And you can just drop these in. And some of these do work, others don't. I asked Jason why. What will happen a lot is people will use these and they won't work out of the box anymore because they've been patched or something like that. But you'll see a new jailbreak come out and um, they'll use the same things just in different ways. So like, you know, between 3.5 and 3.7, you see they still use the um, the end sequences, um, a little bit of, you know, markdown confusion and meta character confusion here, but it is slightly different on the prompt injection side. Um, and so these are, these are things that um, you know we had to kind of make a taxonomy around. It's kind of neat to see that the cutting edge of hacking is still driven by passionate communities.